what's going on guys welcome back to the channel yes it's your boy terabyte reacts here back with another reaction man we are here with some more black sales final episode of my reactions for the day i did three already this is the fourth one my my intention was to do two episodes to put on early react early reactions but hey we're here once again with our fourth episode of the day because I am probably addicted to the show. I love watching it. Um, hopefully, this episode here will satisfy my crave for the day, of course. Um, we're just going to jump in because I really want to know what happened at the end of the last episode. Who showed up? Why did Mr. Guthrie just stop in the middle of the night? Um, that is very strange. But as I said, I think it is the English that showed up. The person looked like a woman too. I don't know why. It, like the shadows, it was silhouettes of some people there. I think it is a woman that showed up, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm not going to waste too much time on the intro here. Just know that, guys, if you're watching this on YouTube or when this comes out on YouTube and you guys are seeing it, please consider signing up for um, the membership on the channel. Because as you can see, you're probably seeing this like two weeks after it <laughs> before two weeks after I, I had done the episode. So because you only get two episodes a week if you're on YouTube, if you're on early reactions, I'm dropping all four episodes from episode five through eight is going to drop on early access. You guys are not even going to get to see episode five until next week, next weekend, which is going to be. The, the, the final days of January, but <sighs> join early access, man. Support your boy, okay? Two dollars, two dollars. All right. See you guys for the review. All right, so episode eight. <laughs> Mr. Vane, I was like, who showed up? It looked like a girl, didn't see the image, but <gasps> turns out they waited until the end of the episode to reveal what happened to Mr. Guthrie. Turns out Vane killed him because of what Eleanor did. And to be honest, I didn't think he would go that route. But it was still like in the back of my mind. The last episode when he showed up, I thought it was him. Like in the back of my mind, it was like, is that vain? You know, but I refused to believe that he would go after a guy who literally has, you know what I'm saying? Because he's saying that he was involved in a plot that included him, you know, bring him under the rule of the king. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know how true that is. I don't know. I don't think so. Because I feel like, you know, and I think that's why they did that in the last episode to give the relationship some sort of reconciliation. Um, you know, I think that's why they did it. Because they knew they were going to kill him in the next episode. So, um, so it was good. Because at least Eleanor kind of got some sort of, um, you know, closure, I would say. I think she got some sort of closure with her dad for, you know, what he did and all of this other stuff. So that was done very well, in my opinion. And, you know, they are, when it comes on to this series, one of the things that I love about it is that plot holes gets filled you know what i'm saying and they don't take long to do it if there's something that you're wondering about they will fill that plot hole very soon they do not play around because sometimes they do leave plot holes on purpose for you to be like i wonder i wonder i wonder but then they they bring it all right back you know what i'm saying it's one of the things that vikings is is struggling with right now 
and it's the same thing with Game of Thrones season 8 they didn't know what to do it's like they forgot that they had seven seasons before to wrap up in season 8 it's like they completely forgot there's certain things that prophecies that were told and it's the same thing with Vikings a lot of the prophecies they just threw them out the window they're like hey final season let's just make some great things and and use up this the rest of this budget and go home <laughs> you know so hopefully we don't end up in the same thing with black sales um so hey i i didn't think that peter would have received them the way he did but i think abigail played a big part in how he responded to them um you know and i also believe that maybe he didn't know that you know McGraw was actually Flint or maybe he did I don't know we're gonna find out in the next couple of episodes how how what, what that's all about but we'll see it when we get there but you know other than that I you know you know Eleanor finding out that there's a ploy going on with with Max and Jack and them you know them empty in the hull of their ship to go get the goal or whatever um is he, he you know what i'm saying but the lady came through you know she came through and tell them to tr and to and, and, and you know even though it's not um all the information she put two and two together great deduction skills and figured it out you know what i'm saying and now eleanor gonna have to deal with what happened with her dad Vane look like he's about to attack charlestown which is not gonna be good it's not going to be good. I don't know if he's going after Charlestown or he's going after the ship. Because it's a problem. If he's going after the ship, their ship is still in the bay. So how the hell did they get to Charlestown? Can y'all can explain that to me? Because their ship didn't leave. What did they do? Swim to Charlestown? Is that what happened? I don't know, man. But whatever it is um it looks like that's what it is i i mean i could watch that final scene and hear what he's saying again to see what it is but we'll see what it is in the next episode anyways guys i'm not gonna do a long review for this one um you know pretty straightforward about what's happening right now um and what they're doing in the series uh i like it man you know silva is I don't think this is gonna go very well for him i don't think this is gonna go well for mr silver i really don't i don't think it's gonna go very well for him i think they're gonna find out they might not find out that he's responsible because he's the type of guy he will kill the other dude before he lets them find out but he's slowly recognizing that he has the power to turn a lot of these guys because they listen to him so we'll see how that turns out um because he may think that maybe he can, you know, get captaincy over, over, over Flint in this situation. Because what this guy is telling him, that they listen to him. So, we'll see how that happens. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As I said, this is not a long review. Um, I did four episodes today. Your boy is tired. Anyways, thank you guys. Leave a like. Leave a like. <laughs> Leave a comment. And I will catch you guys next time for some more Black Sails. I'm going to try to see if I can release those two episodes, um, the last two episodes of the season together. And those will probably be on Early Access first. Then they'll go to the, the end. We'll do that. All right. Peace.